variety of influencers who um, have influence within different spheres that it exo intersects, whether it's entrepreneurship or fine dining or food or environments. Tim Ferriss was fairly unique in that his writing and his books and his audience, they kind of intersect all of those, all of those spheres. And so for, for a while, he was number one on our list of potential investors or advisors or influencers to get involved in some capacity. And eventually, through Axel Foods, actually, through Jeffrey Zerowski, who runs the Clicquot restaurants with Tom Clicquot, the craft restaurants, rather, we were introduced to Tim and had an initial phone call, which lasted quite a long time, and he grilled us on every aspect of our business. But he loved the product, and I guess we passed his grilling, and he's now an investor and an advisor of the company. What are you Will learning? we be uh, coming out with the four-hour cricket soon? Yeah. Well, in the four-hour chef, actually, he has a recipe for cricket protein bars, totally unrelated. Oh, wow. That's wow. so cool. Yeah. What are you guys learning working alongside him? We're learning a lot about PR. That's like one. He, he's extremely talented at finding angles for stories and how to craft pitches and all that kind of stuff. So he's teaching us a lot there. He also has a tremendous wealth of knowledge around nutrition, which is a world where there are so few agreed upon truths. I mean, every, every nutritionist disagrees on whether fat is good or saturated fat is good or bad, and whether paleo makes sense and so on, but he, he knows more than, than most. And so he's been teaching us a lot about that, and we're fine-tuning our recipes to reflect some of his thoughts there. Yeah, he's also just seen so many companies go from nothing to something hugely successful. So it's just he's useful to have around, again, sort of for that best practice idea of sort of pointing out pain pots, pain points that he's seen other companies go through before we might even know to look out for them. So that's been useful too. What's well, been one of yours? A pain point? Yeah. Running out of inventory has been a huge pain point for us. It's a good and one. And Tim, I, like he, you know, he had a supplement business before. Actually, he wrote any of his books anyway. So he actually also has dealt with trying to navigate a physical product too. And so, I mean, we we keep running out of product. Essentially, we we were limited partly by cash before now, and that's really why we wanted to raise some money to put back into inventory so that we could stockpile a little bit so that we weren't sort of constantly on the edge of of running out. But the demand is just continued to be bigger even than we predict. So, Which is an awesome problem to have. Yeah. It's, still, it's still a problem. 